Man, there are so many novels and movies dealing with time paradoxes, right? One of the most famous ones is definitely Grandpa's Paradox. You know, where if you go back in time and prevent your parents from meeting, then you wouldn't even exist to stop them. So, how about we check out some lesser-known paradoxes? There's this physicist named Jack who invented a time machine and went on a trip to the future. And there, he found out something mind-blowing, his brother won the Nobel Prize in physics. But get this, his brother Mac is not a physicist at all, he's actually a painter. Jack was like, what on earth happened? So, he decided to read Mac's paper. Turns out, it was a beautiful piece of work. And not just that, it had the potential to revolutionize science in the future. Jack was dying to know how Mac came up with such an amazing theory. So, he went back to the present. But guess what? Mac was just busy painting as usual, didn't care a bit about physics. Jack was freaking out as the day of Mac's paper presentation was getting closer. This theory was crucial for advancing science, but Mac didn't even have a clue about basic physics. The paper was doomed to stay hidden forever if Jack didn't do something. After all, he was a scientist and a scholar. So, he spilled the beans to Mac about what he saw in the future and convinced him to present the paper. And guess what? Mac nailed it and even won the Nobel Prize later on. But here comes the paradox, who actually came up with the theory in the paper? Jack? He just saw Mac's paper from the future. So, was it Mac? He only wrote the paper based on what Jack told him. Where did the theory really come from? Jack's been stressing out lately because he's running low on research funds. I mean, he built a freaking time machine, but the fuel costs are through the roof, you know? To tackle this money problem, he decides to go back in time and invest in stuff like lottery tickets and Bitcoin. Off he goes to the past, and bam, he meets his past self. And let me tell you, past Jack was shook to the core. I mean, who wouldn't be? Suddenly, another version of yourself just pops up out of nowhere. Meanwhile, future Jack is freaking out too. He realizes he's never met his future self in the past. If past Jack had easily become rich with tips from future Jack, well, past Jack would already be rolling in dough, right? But if future Jack's already rich, he wouldn't need to time travel to the past. So, what came first? Or did the moment Jack traveled to the past split the timeline, sending him to a different world? Or maybe, because Jack changed the past, his memories are being rewritten to include meeting his future self? Anyway, Jack, who solved the time paradox, came back to his original timeline. And guess what? He was filthy rich. So, he could just focus all his time on research. But, you know, progress wasn't exactly lightning speed. That's when he started wondering if his future self could finish this research. So, he decided to take a sneak peek into the future. He set the time machine 20 years ahead and landed in the basement of the same house where he had his time machine. Upstairs, there he found future Jack, looking 20 years older, waiting for him. Future Jack proudly announced that he'd completed the research. He was over the moon. But then, future Jack confessed to one worry. Of course, past Jack was dying to know what was bothering his future self. Turns out, there's this girl named Lily who works at a diner Jack frequents. He's head over heels for her, his first real crush. But being all grown up, he lacked the courage to make a move. Past Jack was intrigued. Who was this woman who had captured the heart of someone who'd lived for research until now? So, he headed to the diner where Lily worked. And as soon as he sat down, this stunning lady approached to take his order. Jack had a hunch it was Lily. She was super friendly and even slipped him her phone number. Lily was into young Jack. He was ecstatic until reality hit. She liked young Jack. So, what about old Jack in the present time? Was there any chance for him? Could young Jack just stay in the future and be with Lily? Would there be two Jacks living together in the future? Then who's the old Jack waiting at home? If past Jack doesn't go back to the past, where did the old Jack who completed the research at home come from? To resolve this paradox, some claim that regardless of Jack's will, he has to go back to the past. You know, what will happen, will happen. Time paradoxes just get crazier the more you think about them, right? Some scientists even say traveling back in time is impossible, which would pretty much solve most time paradoxes if true. In modern physics, the idea of traveling to the future is kind of feasible, but going back? 
nope, that's a big fat no according to most. Or, get this, some say when you go back in time, the universe splits. You've got the universe you originally lived in and the one you messed with by time traveling. But hey, that's just one theory to untangle the paradox. Nothing's set in stone yet. It's all still in the realm of imagination. Got any other time paradoxes up your sleeve? Drop M in the comments if you do.